Good morning, everybody. We are sure. on our way to Baluli. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Eh? Beautiful My sunrise gosh. this morning. Must be the last of the sure. super moon last night and an extra special sunrise sure. this morning. Lovely, yeah. Our first sighting is this male lion. Looks like he's got a bit of a limp to him. I wonder if he's not one of the brothers. Because remember, he had a limp. That's right, he did, eh? Yeah. Gee, so many wildebeest and zebra. I think they're waiting to cross over on to the other side of the road where they've burnt. And there's a couple of green shoots that they're after. They did the same yesterday. Eh? Nice lighting on them. Beautiful light. Mm. Oh, this morning there's lots of wildebeest around. They're loving the short grass that's I think when the first rains come it'll turn green eh very quickly
I think that young zebra lying down there, maybe he's just sleeping. We saw him put his head up just now, but... Not quite sure. It's a breeding herd of elephants. Honey badger doing his thing, it's probably a hundred meters off the road, so it's not a great. And normally they're moving all the time. He's got something big there, or else there's two honey badgers. There's two. Yeah, there's two, you're right. is such a sighting except that the one of course has jumped up the tree but I was saying this morning to Rose if we could just come around the corner and find the male lying here on this stump and here we come around the corner and we find the two of them there's the other one up the tree there
Is this the girl here? Yeah, They're both girls, eh? Both girls? Yes. Right, good morning, everybody. Good so, morning. It's our last day at Baluli today. Oh, so we today we're off to drive our favorite road again. Uh, and thanks to Anton and Shelley um, for telling us about the mating pair of leopards on this road and that they drove this road stickened and we <laughs> said we would do the same thing when we came up and in a day and a half we rode that route four times and last night on the way back to camp for the fifth time we had to luck and you got to have a look at this and see what we saw. Well it was amazing really because we came around it in the morning when we rode drove the road, I said to Rose, geez, wouldn't it be amazing if we came around the corner and on this log here we found the mail. I said it would be just the right place for it and whatever. And we came around in the afternoon and on this dead tree there she was draped all over the tree. Not she. There was two well, of them. Well, two of them, yeah. <laughs> two, fe two females lying on the log that I said, what did it be amazing? And it really was. It was, it was amazing to have that sighting. Uh, I don't think we'll ever have a sighting like that again. Unfortunately, our Garmin was telling us we were late already to get back to camp. So I said to Rose, we can't spend a lot of time here. Uh, but the Garmin was actually wrong. We had we could have had another 15 minutes with them But what happened is when we arrived there the one Didn't worry about us at all the other one uh, Climbed up the tree straight away, so we didn't get a shot with the two, two of together. them lying together Well, they were slightly apart, but you know a shot with two so we got a, a picture with the one on the tree and then the other one climbing up the tree I got a bit, bit of uh, footage with that so yeah it was really an amazing sighting and just before that we had seen lots and lots of uh, zebra and wildebeest and it was really lots of stuff lots of elephant and then and we two honey badgers. and then two honey badgers eh? So, and they were foraging and digging and uh, we couldn't spend much time on them because we were worried about, you know, driving this road stickened again. So, yeah. So guess where we're going right now? <laughs> yeah, to drive the road stickened again. <laughs> Over and out. Yeah, here we are back again at our favourite spot. The one was lying here on the left and that other one was lying over there which then climbed up the tree. Eh? I didn't think we would find them here this morning but we have to try. Got the one by the ear there. Eh? No wonder the ears are so torn, eh? Mm.
the water buck female. There's a big male at the back. Good pair of horns on him. I think she's all by herself. I don't think there's anybody, any other one around. <laughs> 